All right, here we go. <laughs> Episode 49, In the Pit, Blossos. Doing. We got another fucking show to fucking rock off the world here. Another oh, show, yeah. another big day. We got a lot to talk about. We do. How you yeah. doing today? I'm doing good, bro. Doing better doing? than yesterday, buddy? I'm doing much better. All I got right. a, a good uh, maybe seven hours of sleep. Welcome to In the Pit if you're listening on the podcast or on YouTube. Welcome. And we got the Space Jam plot. Space Jam 2, the plot came out yesterday. Did you hear about that, Will? Is this the one with LeBron? I saw James? it. I didn't read yeah, the plot. Yeah, with LeBron. All right, well, we're going to get into I will. I will watch that movie, by the way, even though it's got LeBron James in it. I okay. will watch that movie. It sounds awful. I mean, nothing will ever beat the original Space Jam. Yeah. That was just... I mean, how do you it's beat all the, time. Yeah, you can't really. How do you, how do you go wrong with the fucking original? That's like being Toy Story or something, you know? It's a classic. It's I, classic. I will say, though, the remaking of Lion King was very good. Remaking? Yeah. Oh, the like re- the live action? So they had the cartoon one, and they had, like, the more live animated one? I don't know if I saw that one. It's good. I uh, I haven't finished. We cut it out at the hyenas part. Uh, well, scary for ele- the kids. Elephant graveyard. Elephant graveyard. We got Tua starting from Tunga the Tunga Vailoa, under center. Where did that come from? Anyway. I'm telling you why, where it's coming from. He, they're 3-3. Three and three. He's the fourth overall pick. I want to see what the kids got. And now we got the Indiana Pacers hiring the Raptors assistant, Nate I think Bajorkin. that was a good move by them. Yeah. I don't know much How about do you that say guy. His last name? Bajorkran. <laughs> Bajorkran. I'd actually be very impressed if he actually said that right. And then we got. Did you see Tom Brady? He posted a promo, like a hype video, like trailer for the for Rays. The yeah. Series. All of a sudden, he's a fucking Rays fan. Yeah. For the, yeah. newly Rays fan. How it's many? A, how many first pitches have you thrown out at Red Sox games after they've won the World Series? Right. Like a lot. Time. And they the worst thing about yeah, it was that time. they put the 2004 Red right Sox after they win the Super Bowl. Mm. They had yeah. the Patriots come out. Right. Yeah. Remember, he's chasing Gronk around the yeah. field. Yeah, because he stole his fucking. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all it's politics. All, it's all Brady. publicity yeah. shit. I've lost so much respect for Brady over yeah. the last seven, eight months. It's ridiculous. We we'll got a little more into it, but the worst part about it is that they show, were showing clips about the, of the 2004 World Series. Who was? They're, like in the in the hype video, they're like showing like clips of that. So it's like Brady's a, video? Yeah, Brady's video, and he's narrating it. And he, but he's talking about the Rays, and they're showing like the Red Sox. And we got to talk about the game last night. I mean, Dodgers. yeah, I mean, I'm surprised you didn't start with that. You started with Tala. Uh, <laughs> you want me to? Re- oh, Tala started. Well, I mean, the last game? topic. Um, the, no, you should have a fucking Tom Dodgers? Brady with fucking the Rays thing. Well, he's going through other topics. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Was that the last one? The Rays, the World Series game. Yeah, yeah. But then I just yesterday we didn't get to talk about it. It was. Uh, Anniversary of the 2004 Red Sox when they won it. So we can talk about let's that. Let's go! So you want to start with the World Series game? Yeah, let's start with the World Series All game. Alright, cool. 8-3. Dodgers. Kershaw. Kershaw. Big game Clayton. He actually decided to pitch. Yeah. Big game Clayton showed up last night. Hey, you want to know though? I mean, it wasn't the end-all be-all game. He still wasn't in Game 7. What? Still never fucking pitched in Game 7. Are you talking about the past? No, I'm talking about... The game seven, they played the Braves. He wasn't in that game. I know. We're talking about last night. We're not talking about last night. I know. What I'm year. saying is that he pitched great last night. I'm not disputing that. But I'm also saying to you it wasn't that it wasn't, as, it wasn't as big as a spot. So it's you, not as big as a spot. So he hasn't proved enough to you yet. No. Game, I'm not saying it wasn't. A, but you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm saying to you, if they lost that game, it wasn't like the season was over. They still had a, they, it's only one, it was only game one. It wasn't like he pitched game four and they were down 3-0. Or it was game six and they're down 3-2. Like Kurt Schilling pitched game six with the a bloody, bloody ankle. Yeah. The bloody sock game. The bloody oh, wow. sock game. No, that's oh, hell, people the tried suck. to say that this fake, he faked the, faked the blood. Yeah, he faked the yeah, blood. That's yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he fucking put ketchup on his he's sock. He's in the dugout with the yeah. ketchup. He's got the yeah, Heinz. That's he's what got, some people were actually saying that. He's got the fucking he's ketchup He's got the Heinz under the yeah. sock. Right. right. And the surgery wasn't confirmed by the team doctors like two days beforehand either, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you think Curtis yeah. Schilling is a legend? Fuck yeah, Curtis. I mean, baseball, Whoa. baseball legend. All his off the field crap. I don't fucking care about that. We're talking about sports here because people are gonna mix. People are gonna mix his political bullshit and his comments off the field with the reason why he won't get in the Hall of Fame and shit. Kurt Schilling is a fucking damn good pitcher. Ended the curse of the Bambino. Won two championships plus the one in Arizona. Guy should be in the Hall of Fame. But you shouldn't like think about that. But that's what. Okay. But that's what people. That's what people think though. Uh, O.J. Simpson. 
I mean, you can say what you want uh, about you can say right, what you want about. That's a whole other ball. I mean, but if, you, if you're going, if you're going, here. if you're going we based on the football, the guy, though. yeah, I mean, I mean, th- according to the court of the shit. <laughs> and, and and according to fuck, compared fucking, to Schilling going bankrupt. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's got to be different levels. Whoa, to according it. according what to the our judicial system. He stole money. Oh, he stole money. Yeah, well, that's different. He stole fucking he stole fucking plaques out of a museum. He stole like sports memorabilia out of a, out of a museum. He did. He got nine years for it. What? Yeah. Schilling? No, he no. OJ Simpson. Oh. <laughs> Big Nick said he's not. Yeah, but you're comparing him. You can't stealing shit to fucking OJ killing. I'm not a comparing guy. it. I'm just saying that's okay. off the field shit, and that's okay. off the field. What we're saying shit. is OJ Simpson sports. was was OJ <laughs> Simpson not a great running back? Yeah. We're talking about a football player here. Yeah. To be honest, is I he not a great football player? From what I've heard, yes. I can't really okay. speak on it because I'm pretty young. Well, I'm pretty sure he's in the Hall of Fame, and they might have taken him up because of his fucking PR stats, but I'm pretty sure he was in the Hall PR of Fame. PR stats? O.J. Simpson? Public really, yeah. It's public. Re- he killed a guy. According to our law system, he didn't. We all know he did it. I want to be clear. People. Yeah, he killed two people. He never got it's convicted. Not a PR thing. He never got convicted. So, do you think he killed I people? never said he didn't. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm did? just saying that our fucking... Court's judicial system said no. Do you think he did? Of course he fucking did. Okay, so... But it doesn't matter. He, <laughs> if you look up his record, it doesn't say he's a murderer. Even though he is. Aaron Hernandez <laughs> is technically an innocent man. So would he But he murdered, murdered people. If he didn't... If he, like, didn't go down the path that he went down, do you think he would have been a legend? Who? I mean... Aaron just, Hernandez? I mean, I yeah. think he would have been, yeah. Tough yeah. to tell. <laughs> I, I think I think he would have been one it of the is, most... It is. It's tough to tell. I yeah, think he, he would have been. He, he, he was, was really disgusting. Good. He'd yeah. still be playing for the Patriots right now. Yeah, no a lot chance. of drops though. He had a lot of drops. He yeah, was on and off nasty the field. in the backfield though, <laughs> dropping people yeah. left and right. Yeah, he knows a thing. <laughs> he knows a thing too about dropping. <laughs> <'cause he's... laughs>
No, just the, like world, series. Oh, the world Series. Yeah. Um, no, not the World Series. That the series. The ALCS. I, I'm gonna, I was gonna say the ALCS meant more than the fucking World Series. Yeah, no, it was the University of the ALCS. I mean, that to me is the greatest moment. I mean, don't get me wrong. 2018, they steamrolled the Dodgers. Yeah. 2013, the whole Boston strong thing is nice. I mean, the Patriots Super Bowls were the 28 to three game would be the only really uh. comparable game. But to me, like you have to remember, yes, that was incredible. But it was incredible coming get back against the Yankees 3-0, first time ever being done, playing, winning four straight four games straight and games. breaking an elimination. You got to give that number one. Well, what do you think is more doable to do again, the fucking 28 to three or the Yankees Red Sox? Yankees Red Sox. I think so too. Yes. Yeah, so you, you, you would you never do the 28 to three over the Red Sox. No, no shot. You did it against your rival. You the curse factors into doable. it. You have. The curse. Oh yeah, I didn't think about Big that. Big time. They haven't right, won right. like 86 <laughs> years, bro. <laughs> Against their arch rival, no offense, the Falcons. Yeah, I mean the Falcons just Our know trash. how to choke. Well, they just know how to choke games. Yeah, they do. That's you why their the coach is gone. Today, um, Matt Ryan and Julio Jones are going to be shopped around. Yeah, I saw that. Imagine if we get Julio Jones. Bill will never do it. We got any predictions? He would never do it. You would never pay him. I I don't understand. You need point blank. You need, and I love Bill. I love Bill. But I don't understand why he thinks this is going to work with Cam Newton and with these wide receivers. Cam Newton needs help. He'll right never on. say anything. He needs fucking help. Tua. Tunga Vailoa. They're in contention. So I think they're trying to risk it all. And they've seen something from Tunga Vailoa that thinks that they are they have a chance. I, I, I'm, not hating, the mood. I'm not hating the mood. I'm not hating the mood. I'm not hating the move. He's never played a meaningful who, snap. Just for shits and gills, bring up the next like three or four games for the Dolphins. Who are they playing? Because I think that has a lot to do with it, too. If they're facing weaker competition, I bet you this is to get his confidence up. Rams, Cardinals, Chargers. All right, so it's not really. It's not, I mean, yeah, those are pretty good teams. Those are good teams. Yeah. And then yeah, they I got. Think they can beat the, the Cardinals and Chargers. Then they got Broncos, Jets, Bengals. I mean, I'm surprised they're not waiting until then to happen, boy. It's yeah. the Broncos, Jets, and. I mean, this is their franchise guy. You can say what you want about Fitzmagic. This is their guy. So they want to see what the fuck he's got. Second place in the division. They're, I mean, I think they're just kind of going for it. They're, they're uh, high risk, high reward. But I also think they're going to, you mark my words, they're going to trade Fitzmagic. Try to get something out of him. Okay. Because like, he wasn't, like, performing that bad, right? Oh, he was great last week. Yeah, so They're going to try to trade him for value. That was my thing. They bench him after a win. Yeah, so they're just putting all their eggs in one basket. Like, what if, I think they're going to try to trade out. Fitzmagic for a second or third round pick. Yeah. Some team that fucking needs a quarterback gets yeah. desperate, gives them a mid-round pick. Yeah. That's what I think. Fitzmagic goes to uh-huh. his 10th team. I think he's going to get traded. Wow. Again, that's a bold prediction, but I'm fucking sticking by it. You know who's, uh, you know who's going to be reinstated in the next two or three weeks? Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon? Him. Not only him, but uh, Antonio Brown. Really? Someone's going to sign Antonio Brown. I like Josh Gordon. Smoking the herbs together. And Smoking them in amphetamines. Hey, nothing wrong with it, but you can't let it affect your job, and that's what he clearly did. So, I mean, it's clearly affected his job his whole career. I know, so that's fucked. I mean, I mean you want to talk about a guy? Fucked. You want to talk about a guy who I think could have been maybe even better than Julio Jones? He, he was, was so gifted. He was yeah. so fucking gifted. Don't say it was. It's not over. You think he... What? It is over. He can't you can't come think back. He's... Josh Gordon. You think he's gonna get reinstated again and then not fucking pat, not fail another fucking drug test? I know, but and I, I'm just rooting for him. I, I got no hate for the guy. I'm just saying, yeah. I, 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 he's failed nine drug tests. I'm being realistic. I know the odds are not in his favor. Not in his favor at all. It'd be cool to see that. And I think the only reason why he keeps getting reinstated is because like they know like he's got a drug problem. Like yeah. he's got it, and it's not like he's. You know, assaulting girls, yeah. or he's... It's not like he's a bad person. Yeah, he's, he's just trying, having a drug problem. He's trying to get help, too. Like, he's going to rehab and all that but shit. But that's the thing, like... Again, this might be I, yeah, very really, biased for me to we, say, but, like, you can get as much help as you want. At some point, you gotta just say no to the weed. Yeah. It's t- it, may, it, might, it might be tougher for him than you think. I'm Again, I don't know how that shit works. I ain't trying to figure out how that shit works. I'm yeah. just saying that, at some point, no, you're patience right. runs out. Yeah, you're right. You gotta stay off the weed. Tua will be the 22nd starting quarterback for the Dolphins since Dan Marino in 2000. Pathetic. Pathetic. I feel like the Browns probably had more quarterbacks. The Browns are pathetic. Odell Beckham, one out. Landry, Landry. one out. Austin Hooper, get out. Njoku, once out. Get out. Everyone wants out. Get out. Really? 
Cleveland's about to hit a fucking shit stain. Yeah, talk to me about the Space Jam thing. There's like a tweet revealing like the basic plot of the movie. It was leaked. And they also released the cast of the movie as well, including AD, Kyrie, Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson, and of course one of his sons. Ronnie. But it's not known which one. Ronnie. Ronnie, speaking of stay off the weed. Stay off the weed! So, this is the plot. Dur right. during, a, during a trip to the Warner Brothers studio, NBA superstar LeBron James and his son accidentally get trapped within a world that contains all of the Warner Brothers stories and characters. Under the control of a malfunctioning, all-powerful force named Al G, played by Don Shadle, with the help of Bugs Bunny, LeBron must navigate through a never-before-imagined world filled with iconic movie scenes and characters as they reassemble the Looney Tunes to rescue his lost son. Now to get back home, LeBron and the Tunes have to unravel Al G's mysterious plan and win an epic basketball game against digital gamified super versions of the NBA and WNBA's biggest stars as the entire world watches. Everybody knows Bugs Bunny's Team Jordan. And everyone knows LeBron James' team's gonna win and they're gonna fucking get out. Yeah. I don't even need to watch the movie. They should have remade it with Jordan. Should have. Oh, that would be sick if he made a special appearance and then LeBron and Jordan have to go one on one. Jordan beats him. That would be sick. These are my Looney Tunes. We could write this. Script. This is my Tune Squad. Wow. That's it. We're doing a Space Jam 3 before 2 comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Brady, wrap it up with this. In America, for over a century and a half, generations have loved baseball, experienced heroes, and heartbreak. This game has offered so much from so many. And always, October has meant the world. Keithful. Tonight, two pennant winners step inside the lines to decide one champion. A singular focus dialed in. Growing up, from California to the Caribbean and beyond, each dreamed of this. The glow of these lights, the thrill of the first pitch, thriving under pressure, the drama to come. After all that has occurred in 2020, we arrive here. As a marvelous gentleman once exclaimed, that has been yes. so improbable, the impossible has happened. The fall classic endures, and it means as much as ever. The Rays, the Dodgers, the World Series on Fox. Uh, how much do you get paid for that? Where's the Red Sox part? I think it's just that one part. Yeah. Ah. yeah. I mean, that's well done. It's a well done video. Well done video. Yeah, I bet you he didn't even make the damn video. But I just think it was a little ridiculous that it, they probably were having him narrate because he's like in Tampa now. I think That's Tampa exactly thing. what it is. Yeah. It's all a show. So I think that was kind of ridiculous. Obviously, well done video. But Very well done. Yeah. It's a well done, well done video, but do you really think Brady made that video? No shot. He must have had to edit it. <laughs> he narrated it. Didn't mean he made the video. Yeah, no fucking shit. I think he's fucking on premiere up there editing the shit. I'm just fucking telling you, he didn't make that video. Yeah, no shit. Just shot. talking about it. Casey, right. he didn't make it. <laughs> That's all we got for you guys today. Um, we got on the record on Sunday. We got a new snack down coming up on Sunday, too. And we got big news coming next week. So stay tuned, guys. What's the big news? Oh, you'll find out. Boom. That's a wrap. <laughs>